Welcome back to another Race Breakdown. I am Kevin Sully, and on today's edition of the show, we're going to look at a 400-meter race from Shores Out Poland featuring Allison Felix, who is in her farewell tour. This is her second 400 of the season. Not going to win this race, but is going to set herself up nicely for the next part of the season, and I'll explain why. Now, in this race, it featured three women who had run under 51 seconds this year already in the 400. Felix was not one of them, but under 51 seconds this year in the women's 400 puts you towards the top of the yearly list. Um, to Felix's outside, you see Felix right here. To her outside, Kazmarek of Poland. She's one of the best 400-meter runners in the world this year. So Felix getting a pretty good test here. It's not a Diamond League competition, but it does have some of the top women in the world. Let's take a look now at this final 100. So inside of Felix is one of those sub 51 second runners this year, Sweetie Resetek of Poland, then Kazmarek to her outside. And Felix moves up onto the shoulder of Kazmarek. That patented Allison Felix strong close is in effect. Looks like she draws even almost gets ahead. Kazmarek though has been really tough this year. She's able to battle back and run 50.4. But the 50.7 for Felix is a season's best. Puts her in the mix. A great improvement off of her last 400. Kazmarek, great race for her. Again, she's one of the women to watch in the event globally right now. But Felix could be on the path now to making her 15th global team. 15th global team. And let me just explain why. So in the United States, obviously, we have uh, our U.S. championships and our U.S. championships in the 400. Basically, if you get to the finals, you're going to be on either the relay pool for the 4x4 or the mixed gender relay pool because there's two 4x4s at the global championship. So the thinking is all Felix needs to do is make it into the final at USA's in a couple weeks in Eugene, and she would have a relay spot if she wants it. Now... Let's look at what it would take to get that spot. First of all, let's just look on the U.S. side of things where Felix's mark ranks this year. That 50.7 that we just saw that she ran. Let's pull up the U.S. list here and ignore those first two. Those are done there by error. So Wilson, Moe, Kennedy Simon, Allison Felix. That's the top four right now in the United States. Now, Britton Wilson is a 400-meter hurdler. She might run the 400 at USA's. I don't know. A Thing Mo, 800-meter primarily. We think she's going to focus on that. Kennedy Simon, the Collegian, then Felix, then a couple more Collegians, then some veterans in Ellis and Irby. But Felix is in a great spot. Now, what sort of time would it take just to get to the finals? We're not even talking about top three and qualifying individually, which would be an amazing feat for Felix to pull that off once again when she said at the beginning of the season she's not about you know the time on the clock she's just about enjoying this last journey we're a couple weeks out and that's possible but let's just let's just slow down on that and look at what it would take so to get to the final this is the trials last year um this is the semifinals so Shay Anderson 51.27 that's what made it into the final of the women's 400. Then if you want to go a step ahead, what did it take to make the team? Well, that was a step up. That was 50.03 by Jonathan. Remember, Felix got second in 50.02. But the number here, 51.27 is the spot that got Anderson into the final, which puts you in the mix for the relay pool. All right, let's go back another couple years, 2019 U.S. Championships. Let's look at those results. So this is the first round. Then we'll go down here to the second round. Is actually it required a slower time that year, 52:02. Now Felix made it through 51:45. Remember that was the year where she debuted at the U.S. Championships, but 52:02 made it. 51.45 was what Felix ran. And then if you look at the actual final itself, what made the team in in the individual side of things, 50.44. Felix 51.94, but was able to go and run a leg on the mixed gender relay. So you look at those times historically, we take into effect, obviously we know about Allison Felix, which is she's a, a big meat runner. And you look at that, that mark that she ran, the 
she's in a great position to get this done. She's in a great position to qualify for another U.S. team if she wants to. Let's take one more look at this last 50 meters. And she's going to run a 200 coming up um, in Rome. Sharpen up a little bit. Again, she said that she's going to run U.S. championships. If she runs in the 400, I would be very surprised based on what we've seen that she's not going to be able to make that final. And if she can make the final, then she would qualify for the relay in Eugene, the first home world championships for the United States outdoors in history. And it would be a fitting way for Felix to go out. So a solid performance, again, runner up, but don't let that confuse you. Don't let that obscure from the fact that Felix is in a great position on the U.S. side of things heading into the U.S. championships in just a couple of weeks. Well, that's it for this edition of the Race Breakdown. Be sure to subscribe to the Flow Track YouTube page for more. We'll talk to you guys next time.